Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia Graf and I love to talk about perfume and fragrance on this channel. So if that is something that interests you, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. And I'm gonna be talking about fragrances that are marketed towards women that I definitely feel men can wear no problem, very, very unisex, that are not super feminine leaning because I actually own quite a few men's fragrances that I like to wear myself. I purchase them for myself and I love them. So I really encourage you men out there who are maybe watching this video to wander into the women's aisle when you're perfume shopping. There are some amazing fragrances on both sides of the gender that you can wear. And I always think you could you should just wear whatever you want. Since I started, um, um, just getting rid of that whole idea that I only could wear women's perfume. I've discovered so many amazing new fragrances that I wear that I would otherwise never have reached for because they're men's fragrances. So I definitely encourage men to do the same. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and come join me for a glass of wine and some perfume chat. So first I want to reference actually a fragrance for men that a lot of men just love and that's really gets a lot of hype on here and that's actually why I purchased it. This is by Terry Mugler and this is from the Amen range and this is Pure Havan. This is like tobacco, honey, patchouli, cacao, very sweet, very rich, perfect for fall time, perfect for date night, something like that. I actually purchased this for myself because that sounded really appealing to me. I was actually shocked that this smells really similar to another fragrance from Mugler that I have from the women's line, and it is this one, Angel Muse because when I put this on, I immediately thought of this because they're very similar. So if this is kind of your vibe with that tobacco and the honey and patchouli and cacao, you will like this because it also has cacao and patchouli. And I feel like the patchouli and the cacao that is used in here is the exact same one that's used in here. And that's why I get that similar vibe, but it also has the additional note of hazelnut. So whereas this one goes more in the tobacco honey direction with the patchouli, this one is like patchouli patchouli, chocolate, and hazelnut. But there's a lot of similarities here. Honestly, I could spray this one on this wrist and this one on this wrist, and I could tell them apart, but I could definitely sense that they're like similar DNA. Just like the Pure Havan, the performance on this is really good. I mean, all of, all of the Mugler fragrances I own have really great performance. This is like one of my beast mode fragrances, so it really projects. So another one that I think is an absolute unisex fragrance that would smell fantastic on a man is this one by Kenzo, and this is Kenzo Jungle Elephant. So you can see the bottle here. I have the 50 ml. I first of all love the bottle. I think it's, it's really decorative. It looks really cool on the, on like presentation wise, but this is the ultimate spicy fragrance that, I mean, I think if a man would pull this off, like no one would look at you weird because that is not a very feminine leading fragrance. This is like the ultimate spicy fragrance. So if you like spicy fragrances, you need to check this out because it's fantastic. Um, the perfumer behind this is Dominique Ropion, and you guys, this is like niche quality performance. It's beast mode projection. It lasts forever. It smells absolutely incredible, and this is like spice heaven. So there's cardamom, mandarin, orange, gardenia, heliotrope, clove, mango, patchouli, vanilla, ylang ylang, and licorice. But the main thing I really get is the cloves. The cloves are really strong and the cardamom, but the mango is not like this fruity, girly type of fruity vibe. It's more like it gives it a slight sweetness to the um, spicy notes that are in here. Like the, the this is just mainly a really strong um, spicy fragrance that has a little bit of sweetness from the mango. This one by Lalique, super affordable. I mean, you can get this for like less than 30 bucks on discounters. Um, and I love the bottle, very decorative bottles. I love that about the Lalique brand. They always make beautiful glass bottles. So this is the original Le Parfum. And this is a very green and fresh um, vanilla with this aromatic um, bay leaf note. So when you think of vanilla, often men think of really like girly vanillas. And that is not the case in this one. It's like this kind of, I don't know if vanilla can even be called dry, but the vanilla in here is more like a light, 
dry vanilla if such a thing exists like it's not this super intense like sweet boozy vanilla it's more like a fresh uplifting vanilla and it it definitely has this aromatic note to it because there's a very dominant um bay leaf note in here some people don't like this like i know a lot of women have reviewed this and they say that that bay leaf note gives them kind of trouble because it's just something very unusual but i feel like that bay leaf makes it actually more masculine it reminds me a little bit of something like the serge Lutens, um um, because that one also has that bay leaf note like it just gives it almost this like freshness there's also a pink pepper note in here which gives it again that spicy vibe so it's not a very sweet vanilla by any means it's more like a fresh interesting vanilla there's also tonka bean in here sandalwood and patchouli it's very interesting i think this is a completely unisex fragrance like it's not super feminine leaning this really falls like right down the middle by versace and this is versons this has been discontinued but you can still widely get this on discount websites for like crazy cheap prices like 30 bucks i'm talking about 30 to 40 50 bucks something like that um, and this is a really amazing green, fresh, citrusy scent that kind of gives me that fresh out of the shower vibe. This is a great one to wear in springtime, summertime, gym time, out of the shower. It's super refreshing. So you get a lot of um, citrus notes in here. I think there's a lime note in here, green mandarin, orange, prickly pear, and bergamot. Um, then the mid notes are jasmine, cardamom, and sea lily. So you almost get this sort of aquatic type of vibe with it and then the base is musk olive wood sandalwood and cedar wood so the base notes are these kind of woodsy element so you get this kind of refreshing citrusy vibe when you first spray it you get a lot of citruses i get a lot of like lemony lime type of vibe oh my god it's so refreshing it's like lime and the bergamot is very noticeable it's not so citric that it's just like sour you know it has that little bit of sweetness just to take the edge off the citrus and then the base is like these woodsy notes that are just so delicious like i love this this is like i mean i have worn this a lot you can see there's a big dent in here i like to wear this to the gym summertime springtime and the last one i want to talk about is a classic by the house of garland and it is chalimar and this has been around for a very long time. Of course, they have republished it, I guess. I don't know if they have changed the formula. I mean, they probably have at some point. Back in the day, like when perfumes were invented, <laughs> um, women tended to wear these fragrances that were really heavy and that nowadays would probably be more marketed to men like there used to be like leather and civet and these really deep rich notes and amber and that kind of stuff in these fragrances that nowadays often you don't find so frequently in women's fragrances and this is one of those fragrances that um kind of goes in that direction this bright opening with this citrusy bergamot opening that's very typical for guerlain so they have this like very citrusy fresh opening with a lot of bergamot um, and then the mid notes are iris jasmine and rose but i wouldn't really say that this is a super florally um, fragrance and the base notes are um, vanilla balsamic notes tonka bean civet and leather you get this like leatheriness you get this civet you get this very vintagey smelling but very rich and complex fragrance that really changes as you go if a man were to wear this um, nobody would think that it smells feminine on you because it's actually not a very feminine leaning fragrance by today's standards. Back in the day, this is what women wore, but nowadays women don't tend to wear these types of fragrances. If you like sort of more vintage smelling fragrances, but also if you like something like, um, I was just thinking, um, if you like something like Dior Homme, and a lot of people love that, and that has this kind of, I think quite feminine leaning side with this sort of lipsticky iris vibe then you might really enjoy this. I don't know, I feel like there's some similarities there. Look at this gorgeous bottle. I mean, how beautiful is this bottle? It kind of definitely harks back to those days of like Orientalism, which I know that term is very outdated, but back then it's probably like the Oriental fragrance, but has a very masculine edge. So by today's standard, I'm saying with that leather and the civet, it's just, it has a lot of, depth to it. If you want to see more recommendation like this, please give this video a thumbs up, leave your comment and subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!